evening guys so you join me today and i'm actually on an evening walk so i've just finished work me and adam come to canal and we're in the search of a chub so i've got an hour or two gonna have a wander up and down a nice walk brought a rod along just a bit of bread and hopefully we'll catch one rivers are shut at moment not open for a couple of weeks at least yet and then obviously i'll be back on there chasing chub but why not have a go on canal canals are full of them these days some great big ones as well hopefully i'll catch one today for you if not, I'll enjoy your walk anyway. Literally, we've come for a walk on the canal. After work, a couple of hours in the evening. Before tea. And then, we're fishing with a rod. So we've literally got with us a rod. We bought some bread, a net and just a bag with some bits in like a disgorger. Got a set of scales in case we get any biggies. And that's it really, you don't need much tackle. Especially on summer evenings like this, it's not getting dark till after nine o'clock now. So it's lovely. And you've been at work all day, just come out for a couple of hours, see what we get. Even if you don't get out, it's nice to be out. Don't have to give it long, literally we're giving it five minutes in a spot and if you've had no indications just move to another spot work your way back down no biggie if you're gonna get one it's usually pretty fast to be honest normally in a few minutes chub are greedy so as soon as i see it they owe me on it that's it you get one Give us a few more minutes, then if we haven't got one, we'll move up to his next spot and do the same. That's a dead simple setup, literally just got a 10 foot feeder rod. With, um, oh, that was an indication then. With just a bomb, an hook length, some low 15 power, and a size 6 hook. Which I know it's a big hook, but have you ever seen the size of a chub's mouth? So, like. <laughs> Massive. There's no no point in using small hooks. Using a big bit of bread, big hook. If it's in, it's staying on. There's a couple of indications there. Could be small fish. We have had a liner on this as well, so it's sort of bent round slowly and come back. It seemed a bit big of a liner to be a small fish, but we'll see. We're gonna get eaten alive. Come on, fish. Just wanted to whack round. All hell break loose. End up with a chubbing back at net. That's what we came for. I say we've got plenty of other spots, so if we don't catch on this one, not too bothered, we'll move on to the next one. See what happens. <laughs> don't know if you can quite see it on there possibly can but it's getting lots of little taps and indications which make me think that there's quite a lot of small fish there and maybe not the chub that we're after at the minute there we go that needs to take long just walk down here a little bit out of the way of that noise where we've actually hooked the chub nice one as well Follow it down just because of that noise. There he is, in the uh, fishing a little bit of bomb bread. Come for a walk up in the evening. Just a couple of hours. Um, what a beauty he is. Hopefully, there's a few more. Happy just to get the one, to be fair. But get a look out and we'll have a look at him. Look at him. Didn't take long. First bite, literally just dropped it in, wet floor hits the water, bit of bread, let it drop down. Nailed it to the floor, sat there, had a couple of taps, waited, sat there, and next thing you know, rod's gone, fish on. Let's have a look at him. So there we go, what a lovely fish that is. Fish that we came for, didn't take that long to get, to be honest. Nice chub, about three and a half, four pound, I should say. I'm hoping for a couple of bigger ones, but if I get no more, I'm more than happy with this. 
look at that glowing in the evening sun. It's nice just coming for a walk down after work, finished, come for a walk, bring a rod, literally a rod and some bread, that's it. Fish like this are not far away, especially now then close season, not rivers, um, obviously still in place, got a couple of weeks yet before they open and I can target them again. But let's slip him back and I'll hopefully get some more. His next swim now. Didn't get any in that. Look at that. Not messing about for any little things. If there's one about, we're having it. So, just gonna put that in. Put the rod down. Just sit and wait. Hopefully it won't take too long, but you never know, it's nice just being sat in the sun. Made sure I come round this side rather than sitting in the shade, do like a bit of sun, nice and warm. Exciting. That's it, with size of bread, we're not messing around. If one's here, he'll have it. Even if the chub don't want me bread, little ducklings do. Put <laughs> it close down to them. That the cute. Can't be more than a couple of days old, but they're tiny. <laughs> Must have been a chub that were interested then. It. Sessions come to an end now. Had an hour, visited five swings in total, so I worked my way up the canal and then back down. Had a lovely day, it's nice just being out, having a walk, and to catch one, it's a bonus. Right, enjoyed it. Gonna get back and have some tea, getting a bit hungry now. I had to actually eat a little bit of bread, don't we? I won't lie. <laughs> so, yeah, like I say, visited a few swims, up and down, caught one nice three pound chub, bonus. I'd have liked a couple more, but that's the way it goes. Hope you've enjoyed it and I'll bring you along again sometime. For now, I'll see you later. Cheers guys.